Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and today I'm here to share my review of Our Family Dragon, A Lunar New Year Story by Rebecca Lim. This was sent to me for review by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them. I've had a great time reading this, I think this is an absolutely stunning book. I love the gold foiling detail on the cover. But this is a picture book all about the Lunar New Year and I was reading through Rebecca Lim's author's notes on the sell sheet and she was talking about how it's a book for those children who walk in two worlds and who celebrate two New Years. It's such a lovely concept and such a gorgeous, gorgeous book full of really wonderful things. So the blurb says the dragon is coming. It's New Year's Eve, the Lunar New Year. Baba says people all over the world have celebrated it for thousands of years. It's my very favourite time, especially when the dragon is coming. Our main character is getting ready with his family to celebrate the Lunar New Year. He's very excited. It's been the year of the rabbit and it's the year of the dragon. And the whole way through the book, as he's going through all of the preparations, getting ready with family, talking about the food that they're going to have, about what they're going to do, the things they're going to see during the Lunar New Year period. He's talking about the dragon is coming, like the dragon is coming to his home. And initially you might think that he's being a bit naive and that the dragon coming is, he's going to be disappointed because the dragon's not actually coming. But I love the little twist at the end about who the dragon is because it really highlighted the importance of family, the importance of coming together, the hope and the joy and the love that people have when they celebrate this as a family and the connection that he has to the people who are most important to him. I also loved these end papers. They have all of the animals that feature as part of the zodiac for the Lunar New Year cycle. The illustrations are bright, bold and colourful. The artist is, and I'm really sorry if I say this incorrectly, so I've been trying to look out how to pronounce it and obviously I, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly still, but I think it's Chai Su. Again, apologies if I've butchered that. I did try to look it up. Anyway, I'll leave the name down below. They have a graphic novel coming out next year and I'm really excited. I've got it on my list. It's coming out in August and I'm very, very intrigued to see what that is like because their illustrations are just so fun. Look, I mean, they're gorgeous. I love this page because it's really talking about how we are moving from the year of the rabbit into the year of the dragon. And it's just lovely. Like it's, it's such a lovely book and one of those books that is a really great way to introduce Lunar New Year to children who might never have heard of it or celebrated it, but it's also a great way to really recognize how important this celebration is to a large number of people across the world. And there's also some really one, like I loved all of it, but the pages with all of the food, I'm hungry now. <laughs> so it's a great way to talk about different cultures, different ways that we celebrate and a great jumping off point to learn more about the Lunar New Year, but about different ways that people celebrate things all around the world. And also to find the commonalities because most celebrations involve food and family. And that is a common theme through celebration. So I think that's really important. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. I always enjoy Rebecca Lim's work, but this book made me so happy to see that this was coming out because I don't have many picture books about the Lunar New Year. And I love that this one is from an Australian author. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about this book down below. In the comments I would love to know if you've read this book or if you have other recommendations for Lunar New Year picture books feel free to let me know those down below. I would love for some more recommendations and if you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a dragon emoji. I hope that wherever you're in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.